In chapter 10, we are going to be looking at different types of exponents. And in our first lesson, we're going to be looking at rational exponents. So rational, you can think fractions. So our exponents will be fractions. A couple definitions we want to know about right here. If you notice, you do have a base b, and our exponent is to the 1 half. So when you have a rational exponent, or an exponent that's a fraction, you want to think about the top number as being the power and the bottom number as being the root that you're taking. So if we look at b to the 1 half power, we can see that the power is 1, so b to the first power, and the root is 2, so taking a second root. You can also write that as the square root of b, because anytime you take the square root, that is the second root. You can go ahead and write the 2 in there for your second root, and then here's your b to the first power. So it's like you take your fraction and you split it up. One is a power, one is a root. b to the one-third, I can see it's b to the first power, and it's the third root. So a third root is a cube root, and if you would like to write that first power in there, you can write that in there as well. So b to the two-thirds power, that one looks a little bit different because we don't have that one. So first, the power is 2, so it's b to the second power, and the root is 3, so it's the cube root. So it's the cube root of b squared. You also could write that, another way you might see this, is the cube root of b squared. So that squared could go on the outside of parentheses, or it could go underneath the radical. So you've got your power over your root. So let's go through a few examples of just simplifying some rational exponents. Um, 16 to the 1 half power. So first I look at the root that I'm taking. It's the second root. Second root is a square root. So square root of 16 to the first. Well, 16 to the first power is just 16. And the square root of 16 is equal to 4. All right, example 2. What we notice about this one, very similar to the last one, however, this is a negative exponent. So anytime you guys have those negative exponents, remember we put it in the bottom of our fraction so that we can have a positive exponent. And now that it's positive, we can find the second root or the square root of 16. And then the power is a 1. 16 to the first power is just 1, so I didn't need to change the 16. And we get 1 over 4. All right, so this one might be kind of hard to see, but this is a 0.5 power. So 16 raised to the 0.5 power is the same thing as 16 raised to the 1 half power. So if you get these fractions, I'm sorry, these decimals, think about what it is in fraction terms so you know what the power is and what root you're taking. So 16 to the 1 half power is the same thing as the square root of 16, which is equal to 4. All right, this lesson's concert is someone I had an opportunity to see in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, this artist became popular when I was working at a boarding school in New Mexico. And all the staff members were super excited when the teenagers started to really like this guy because it was someone, it was some music we could all agree on living together at this boarding school. I know she said it's all right But you will make it up next time I know she knows it's not right There ain't no use in lying Maybe she thinks I know something Maybe, maybe she thinks it's fine Maybe she knows something I don't I'm so, I'm so tired I'm so tired of trying It seems to me that maybe If 
pretty much always means no So don't tell me You might just let it 